Hello, my dear Wanderers, and welcome to the wonderful World Kids Podcast. Before we begin today's podcast, let's go back in time. Not one year, not ten years, not even hundred years. Let's go back sixty-five million years ago, when the dinosaurs roamed the earth. The climate was warmer and more humid than today. Giant dinosaurs like Tyrannosaurus rex and Triceratops prowled the forests. Giant marine reptiles dominated the seas. Pterosaurs and hairy feathered birds filled the skies. But then something happened and it wiped out dinosaurs from the face of earth. Although there are many theories about what happened to the dinosaurs according to one of the most popular theories it was an asteroid which struck the earth and caused a massive destruction that eventually led to the extinction of the dinosaurs So what is an asteroid what do they look like and what is NASA doing to protect our earth from a future asteroid strike? Let's find out in today's episode where we are talking about asteroids. The word asteroid means star-like. Asteroids are small, rocky objects that orbit the sun. These are remnants left over from the early formation of our solar system about 4.6 billion years ago. There are millions of asteroids in our solar system, but most of them are too small to see without a telescope. Scientists study asteroids to learn more about the history of our solar system and how it was formed. Asteroids are also believed to be the cause behind the origin of life on Earth. It is believed that the building blocks of life like carbon and water molecules arrived on earth through an asteroid asteroids come in a variety of shapes and sizes almost all asteroids are irregularly shaped but a few big ones like ceres are nearly spherical the surface of the asteroids is thought to be covered in dust Asteroids undergo constant collisions in space and these collisions create a lot of dust. These collisions also result in craters or holes on the surface of the asteroids. Asteroids orbit the sun in elliptical orbits and in addition they also rotate but not like our earth. Since earth is a sphere its mass is distributed relatively evenly so it rotates smoothly asteroids are irregularly shaped so their rotation is not smooth it is more of a tumble also many asteroids have a small moon that floats near them and some asteroids even have two moons asteroids can vary in size from a few meters to several kilometers across the largest asteroid discovered till date in the main asteroid belt is Ceres which is about 590 miles or 940 kilometers in diameter and it is so huge that it is classified as a dwarf planet next to Ceres we have Vesta which is the second largest asteroid in the main asteroid belt it is nearly half the size of ceres and its diameter is close to 526 kilometers or 327 miles which is about 15% of the diameter of earth's moon vesta is also the brightest asteroid in the asteroid belt occasionally vesta can also be seen from earth even with the naked eye now let's talk about what asteroids are made of 
Based on their composition, asteroids can be divided into three main types: C type, S type, and M type. C-type asteroids are also known as carbonaceous or chondrite asteroids. These are the most common type of asteroids, and they account for about seventy-five percent of all known asteroids. They are primarily made up of carbon, and as a result, are quite dark. The S-type asteroids, also known as stony asteroids. Are made up of silicate materials, and finally, the M-type or metallic asteroids are primarily composed of nickel and iron. So, where in space can we find asteroids? The majority of known asteroids are located in the asteroid belt, which lies between Mars and Jupiter. The asteroid belt contains nearly a million asteroids that are over half a mile long, and millions more that are smaller than that. Sometimes an asteroid leaves the asteroid belt and gets caught up in a planet's orbit. These are called Trojan asteroids. The largest number of Trojan asteroids known so far. Are located in the orbit of Jupiter, and finally there are near-Earth asteroids. Sometimes some asteroids get knocked out of the asteroid belt due to the collision with other asteroids or due to the gravity of Jupiter, and then they fly in the direction of Earth. Some of them even cross Earth's orbit. These are known as near-Earth asteroids. More than twenty thousand near-Earth asteroids are discovered till now. Several NASA space missions have flown by and observed asteroids. For example, the Dawn spacecraft. It traveled to the asteroid belt in the year two thousand eleven. It orbited and studied the giant asteroid Vesta and the dwarf planet Ceres. On October sixteen, twenty twenty one, NASA launched Lucy, which is the first space mission to study the Trojan asteroids of Jupiter. Lucy's prime mission is nearly twelve years long. During that time, Lucy will travel. Almost four billion miles, making three and a half giant loops around the sun. Lucy will fly by seven Trojan asteroids and one main belt asteroid. Now, given the fact that there are millions of asteroids in our solar system, is it possible for one or more of them to slam into our planet? Definitely. Ever since the formation of Earth, it has been struck relentlessly by asteroids and comets. Every day, Earth is bombarded with more than hundred tons of dust and sand-sized particles. Space rocks smaller than about twenty-five meters tend to burn up as they enter the Earth's atmosphere and cause little or no damage. If a rocky meteoroid Larger than twenty-five meters, but smaller than one kilometer, were to hit Earth, it would likely cause local damage to the impact area. But anything larger than one to two kilometers can have worldwide effects. At this point, we also want to mention NASA's space mission called DART. DART stands for Double Asteroid Redirection Test. It is a NASA space mission aimed at testing a method of planetary defense against near-Earth objects. On September twenty-six, twenty twenty-two, as part of the DART mission, NASA successfully navigated a spacecraft to intentionally collide with a small asteroid called Dimorphos. And this collision altered the asteroid's orbit. 
Although Dimorphos posed no threat to Earth, this mission mimicked what NASA scientists would do if an asteroid were headed toward Earth. In other words, this was an epic trial run of a plan that may one day save Earth. And that is all from us today. Thank you so much for listening. We love interacting with our listeners and your emails mean the world to us. So do write to us. You can give us episode suggestions, tell us what you think about our podcast or let us know which episode has been your favorite so far. Our email address is wonderfulworld.kids at gmail.com and don't forget to subscribe. In our next episode, we are going to talk about a scientific process which humans have used to create culinary delicacies for thousands of years. This was the most important way of preserving food before the invention of refrigeration and pasteurization. So what are we talking about in our next episode? Tune in next time to find out. This was episode number 18 where we spoke about asteroids. Thank you for listening. See you next week. And until then, keep on wondering.